Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be testing some brand new Revolution makeup. So I have Soph's collection right here. This is her Extra Spice collection. I also have the brand new uh, Press Glitter Palette and this is Hot Pursuit. It's like their best selling glitter palette. And then also I have the Highlight Palette in the shade, sorry, this is the Face Quad Palette in the shade Ignite. So let's just go ahead and test this out. So of course, I'm going to start with eyes. So first I'm going to prime my eyes using C8.5 from Revolution in the conceal and define just gonna put a little bit of that on my lids to prime and then I'm just gonna dab that in with my foundation brush okay so we're just gonna jump straight into the soph X revolution extra spice palette this is what it looks like and then these are the shades that you get on the inside absolutely gorgeous I have used it before I've done a couple looks over on the revolution channel but I don't think I've used it on my channel yet yeah I've got loads of requests to use it so here we are I'm gonna do a tutorial with it finally I know it's a bit cliche but I'm gonna stick kind of warm pinky tones because I do want to go in with this and of course this is a warm tone glitter palette so I'm gonna stick to towards like this section over here. I'm gonna start with this one. This one is called Sweet and Sour, so I'm gonna put that straight into the crease. I think I'm gonna start by stamping it on and then blending it out. So this is a nice kind of muted orange shade, really nice. Let me bring you in a bit closer. Yeah, this shade is gorgeous, very pigmented as well. And as you can see, it blends out beautifully. And today I've gone in with the Too Faced Jackie Ina foundation again. That is what I'm wearing. I love the finish of it, even though the coverage is not what I want. I would like a little bit more coverage. I love the color of this. So I just find myself gravitating towards it. But also wearing it throughout the day, it definitely does get oily. It's not a matte foundation at all. So I suppose I wouldn't kind of wear it to go out on a long day work I would only kind of wear it to film if that makes sense maybe for pictures or if I'm not going anywhere having a like gathering at my house or do you know what I mean like I wouldn't go out long days with it but the color and formula is okay for like short days or like short little meetings type of thing but that is because I do have oily skin so if you have dry skin you might just love this foundation formula for the whole day because it is quite a dewy like it's not a dewy finish but it does kind of get dewy throughout the day so next I'm going to go into that shade 21 which is the pinky type of shade right here and I'm also going to put that into the crease so just mix those two shades together should I do like a smoky eye today? I wanna do the glitter on my inner corner. I wanna do it like big and blown out and just dramatic glitter, do you know what I mean? I might just pack this color all over the lid for now. So I don't know if I wanna use a shimmer today or if I just wanna use the glitter on the inner corner. I do love a pink smoky. Guys, I'm into pink now, by the way. If you don't know, I used to hate pink at one stage, but now I'm like, oh, pink smoky, love it. But I'm allowed to change my mind just like everyone else in the world. So yeah, that's fine. I might have to change my outfit because the yellow is not really going. Might have to get like an orange thing on. So, yeah, that color is beautiful and it does build up beautifully as you can see. And then going back into the first orange shade I used, I'm just gonna run that through the crease to kind of diffuse that pinky shade. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take a relatively clean brush and I'm just gonna diffuse all of the edges one last time. Do you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because I typically do do a lot with my eyeshadow, but let's go simple today. Let's do a little pink smoky with glitter on the inner corner sounds good to me so these uh, shadows are really pigmented they blend really well as you can see they show up vibrant on the eyes so I love this palette okay guys so the rest of the makeup I have to test can be done once the rest of my face is finished so I'm gonna go off camera do my concealer my powder contour all of that and then I'll come back so we can add the glitter on the inner corner put lipstick on and also highlight so one second guys I just realized that my mic was off the whole time that I was applying the glitter and the highlight like come on now so i did go in with the revolution hot pursuit palette as you guys saw and i took the orange shade in the middle called passion and i topped it with the gold shade called ignite and that is what is on my inner corner i was explaining to you guys that i wanted it to be kind of like a glitter firework explosion um which is why i've gone with a lot of glitter but if you don't want it to be as intense you could easily just go in with one little dab of glitter on the inner corner and then i went in with the face quad in the shade ignite which is kind of the deeper darker quad and i was saying how much i love it it looks beautiful on my skin it is a gorgeous highlighter and because i went in with the deeper coppery shade my highlight has this kind of 
coppery red undertone and I think it goes so well with my eye look so yeah loving the face today and then last but not least I said to you guys that I was going to swatch Soph's lipstick on my hand and then swatch them on my lips so I went ahead and swatched them the first one is cake syrup and fudge and then I'm going to go ahead and try it on my lips now so first I'm starting with cake because it is the lightest shade and I'm going to swatch them without a lip liner because I want you guys to see the true color so if you do buy the lipstick this is what you will get So this is cake and as you can see it's a very light baby pink type of color um so let's go ahead and move on to syrup these lipsticks are very creamy and very comfortable on the lip this is the shade syrup so of course this one's a gorgeous nude but i would go in with like a darker brown lip liner to make it work for me and then last but not least we have fudge okay so here we have the shade fudge and this one is definitely a more warm tone nude compared to the last one which was more cool toned as you can see or a little bit of a lighter peachy color um whereas fudge is like a warm tone nude on my skin tone once again it's completely fine to wear it without a lip liner but i kind of feel like i lose my lip definition without a lip liner so um i don't know if it's my obsession addiction to lip liner but i would go in with a lip liner with this product so i'm quickly just gonna take so i'm gonna take glory from revolution and just line my lips a little bit to give them that definition and i feel like that suits me so much better so yeah that is the final look let me just get my hair together and then i'll be right back okay guys and i'm back so as you can see i changed my outfit i thought the yellow was just not going with my eye look so i put a cute little um orange jumpsuit on no play suit on from primark i am obsessed with this look i mean it's so simple and easy to achieve but it looks like you took ages to do it i feel like this would be perfect for festivals it's literally two shades on the lid and then glitter in the you know in a corner is so easy to achieve and it looks beautiful i keep looking at my monitor because oof girl is that me so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please go ahead give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in my next one take care bye